so it's me Shannon and today has been quite the emotional morning because it is the first day of Aunt Flo oh my god and let me tell you it's a doozy so um, this morning I am just like super emotional my husband left to work so I can be emotional and not feel like I'm being such a crying mess not that he's not supportive of me like he lets me have my emotional spouts but I'm getting ready for, for work this morning and um, I am just like making myself suffer. So for those of you new to my channel, so I had a miscarriage last month, a missed miscarriage. So on July 10th, um, found out that there was no longer heartbeat. Baby actually died two days earlier on July 8th. And then on the 16th, I had a DNC. And um, so now today is August 12th and wouldn't you know it, 26 days later, um, Aunt Flo arrived and it's pretty crazy because I actually just took a, a test a pregnancy test just to see my if my if it was still showing positive see if my HCG levels um, were you know still there and it came up positive on Wednesday and today's now Sunday so I mean it was pretty faint but I don't know this is all just so crazy to me it's just been such a, a learning experience for sure um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about our dearest Aunt Flo and um, about just like my emotions just being plain and raw this morning. Okay, so, so for as much as it sucks to have Aunt Flo return, um, I'm very happy because some women like don't get their periods back after their miscarriage for quite a while. So it's only been 26 days, 27 days now, and my body already ovulated again and um, I'm having a period so when did you know it ladies we are just meant to freaking have babies this is just so crazy to me because I am no way emotionally past my miscarriage at all but clearly my my body is so um, just interesting so anyways guys um, I actually knew that I ovulated last week so I was able to feel like ovulation pain and I never can feel that before so I felt it last week it was just like a sharp pain on my right side and I was like oh my god like what is this is this a complication and I was talking about it with one of my friends and she said no actually after you have um, you know a baby or like you know anything really with your cervix like a miscarriage you're um, you actually feel like your ov ovulation pains and your period pains like 10 times stronger. So that sucks because I already get pretty strong menstrual cramps, but it was kind of cool to feel like me ovulating. And um, then yesterday, I and so I was super curious, like usually before, um, before my period, so I'm using a selfie stick right now, um, so usually before my period, I get super sore boobs, like super duper sore boobs and, you know, just really emotional um, about like a week before my period's due. And that's been like spot on for the last year. Um, hold up. Actually, let me give you a little bit of a breakdown there. So um, me and my husband, we actually got together super young when I was... Um, 18 or 19 I don't really remember but I got myself on the depo shot so um, I just you know we were super young and I didn't know much about birth control but I knew I didn't want to take a pill every day so I took the shot which the shot for me I mean it took my period away completely um, so I was on that for six years I got off of it last May and then my period returned in July and um, that was the first period I had in five years. So that was interesting. But anyways, what led me to this conversation is before the depo shot, I don't know if I was too young or anything, but I never had PMS symptoms. Like sore boobs wasn't even a thing for me. Like emotionally, nope, Aunt Flo like showed up around 28 days and I just had no signs. But this last year, um, so I'm sorry guys. <laughs> so if you're, my family member, I got a couple of family members on here. I got a close friend that's following me. This is a lot of sex talk and TMI. So, you know, I don't blame you if you don't want to keep watching. But if you do, whatevs. It's normal. So, um, anywho, guys, um, for the last year, me and my husband have just been using, like, the pull-out method. 
before we decided to try again this or to start trying to conceive in May this May and let me tell you for us the pull-out method worked great because I was on it from last May all the way up to um, this May and never a scare never anything I just wanted to regulate my body from the depo shot so um, that I did and anyways with the pull-out method and just like having no hormones in my body I PMS so bad so that's when I got sore boobs and everything when I was before the depo shot I never did right, so I don't so know if I before I was 19 I um, Never had any PMS symptoms when I would get my period and then when I got on the um, Depo shot it completely took my period away. So obviously I didn't PMS and then when we got when I got off of the depot shot last May, it took like two months for my period to return and it came back in July. And let me tell you, I was PMSing so bad. It was crazy. Oh God, it was like, I've never felt sore boobs like that in my life. Like I thought I was pregnant, but it was just PMS symptoms. And that was last May. And then me and my husband used the pull out method until this May. And then this May is actually when our first month trying is when we conceived our little angel baby that ended in a miscarriage. So anyways, now I'm just trying, I was very curious to see if I was gonna get um, PMS symptoms again before Aunt Flo, because up to yesterday, I felt fine, no sore boobs, no nothing. Um, only thing was yesterday, I was super moody and irritated, which isn't like me. Um, like, it was pretty funny, because my husband was like, let's work out. And I was planning on working out yesterday anyways, but I wanted to do it on my own time. So I got mad that he wanted to work out 10 minutes before I was ready and I was just irritated. I was pissed off, I wasn't talking. And he was like, what's wrong? Like, you don't seem like you wanna work out. And I was like, no, I do. I just, I knew like, I was like, man, this is weird. I'm going through the emotions. And then, um, and then like later on, I also felt irritated and I was like, you know what? I wonder if I am actually PMSing with no sore boobs. And lo and behold, later that night, Aunt Flo started. So I was in fact PMSing. And, um, but anyways guys, this is, brings me back to this morning. And um, so my husband le left for work and I was getting ready for work. And when I get ready, I listen to music. So all of a sudden, Carrie Underwood's All American Girl came on and I just started bawling because if you don't know that song, listen to it. It's great. But, um, and so I just started bawling and crying and then I just got the sudden hankering to look at these books that I ordered on Amazon for my last pregnancy. These books actually came a day or two after we found out that the baby had no heartbeat. So it was just horrible timing. But um, I decided to pull out these books. Welcome, little one. And just me and my dad. Whoop. And I started bawling. Bawling like crazy. And, um, and then I just decided to pray over my books. Oh my God, I'm sorry. This selfie stick is not working out for me this morning. So then I decided to, to pray over my books. So I was praying. And I was just started, I was bawling and praying so much. So I prayed for my baby up in heaven for my next pregnancy. And, um, you know, I just, I just started grieving a little bit more about this pregnancy. I feel I, I, because I feel like the period is officially like, you know, it's over, it's over, you know, and I knew it was over, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. It was just a, in this period, the cramps are ridiculous. There's Bailey. The cramps are ridiculous, guys. Like, so this is where it's gonna get a little disgusting. If you don't wanna listen, turn it off. But the blood's not too much, but um, the cramps are just horrible and I am so cranky still and moody. My boobs do not hurt. Um, sorry, my dog. But I am just so, so cranky crampy and i took like um for my dnc they gave me like a 600 milligram dose of ibuprofen took that so i'm about to be numb at work which is good because i don't want to feel any type of cramps 
So anyways, guys, just wanted to talk about my um, first period a little. This is only the first day, so we'll see how long it lasts. I'm just still so surprised at how fast it came back. It's only been 26 days, you know, which is, and I've always been really regular with my periods about 28 days. So it's just crazy to me. Um, and then I just can't wait for the day, guys. And mark my words, I feel like my next pregnancy, our baby is going to be a girl because also right after All American Girl, Stevie Wonders, um, Isn't She Lovely came on and the universe is just throwing me signs and we are gonna read these books to our baby girl, mark my words, or baby boy. I mean, I just want a healthy baby, just give me a baby. Bailey, what are you doing? Not you, I don't want you. But anyways guys, I gotta go get ready for work. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.